Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today I'm doing another quick review of a pen. Uh, today the pen in question is a Chinese pen. Uh, it is the Wingsung 3008. So as I said, this is a, a Chinese fountain pen available through places like uh, eBay and a lot of other stores. This was purchased from eBay for the grand total of $3 Australian including shipping. So this is a ludic ludicrously affordable fountain pen and we are talking a piston fountain pen, a piston fountain pen that holds a lot of ink and that actually writes pretty well. I've had a number of these. There have been some issues uh, across, you know, either a couple of the main issues that have popped up include uh, when undoing the piston, you get the piston mechanism coming unstuck or you get leaking around the section occasionally, um, but you're paying $3 for a piston filled fountain pen that is actually pretty good. Now, those of you who are familiar with the fountain pen uh, industry and the market will be going, hang on, this looks familiar. And a lot of people have made the comparison to the Trisby AL, uh, 580AL. And yes, you are not mistaken, there are a huge amount of similarities with this pen. Demonstrators, piston fillers with sort of a nice sort of metal band around at the end of the knob there, similar cap bands, similar clips, similar general shape. The Diamond 580 has these diamond facets, the, five, the 3008 straight plane facets. There's a lot similar. The 580 is a little bigger. It is about um, 200 times the price. No, not quite. Um, it's, you know, it's 20 times the price, I think, at, you know, sort of um, almost $100 for the AL580 uh, as opposed to three. So you are getting into a different sort of realm of pen, but they are definitely similar. And I think Wing Sung have certainly taken a lot of inspiration from the 580. Now here it is in comparison to Alami Safari. And while we're here, we will do the measurements. So the Wing Sung clocks in at 139 millimeters, just one millimeter or just thereabouts shorter than the Alami Safari. Uh, when it is uncapped, it is 128 millimeters and posted, which it does post, but quite long, it's 168. Now this is an advantage it has over the uh, 580, which does not post. Um, uh, and when it does, it posts onto the knob as opposed to onto the, onto the knob there, as opposed to onto the metal band. So um, the pen comes primarily only in a fine nib, uh, which is a 0.5 millimeter. You can get uh, other, other uh, nibs online, but it is a Lamy style nib. Uh, and so you can, in theory, I'm not saying that, you, that it is entirely possible, I'm saying in theory, swap this out for a Lamy nib. Opening up a huge range of nibs to you and quite pleasant writing experience. Uh, the section is um, about uh, just about a, a centimetre on average in width, uh, 10 millimetres. It's got a clear plastic feed and as I said, it's got a nice sort of piston filling mechanism. The cap is a screw cap and takes one and a half screws uh, and you are getting a pen here that is pretty darn good. comes in a chrome or gold trim, a range of different colours for the, um, the piston section there and some of the other uh, adornments on the pen. Solid colour caps occasionally, things like that. It's a really unique pen. Well, not unique, it's a really interesting pen uh, and one that has a lot of options and a lot going for it. But let's see it uh, in action. I have it here inked with uh, GC Murphy Tarnished Nickel from the uh, Birmingham Pen Company, which is a really very cool ink. Um, and this one writes pretty wet. Um, as I said, I've had a number of these, and some write really well, some write really badly. This is a random one that I picked. Um, I, at the moment, I have eight of these inked up for a review, uh, for a, a pen, an ink review, so I thought I'd might as well review the pen in this short format while I'm here. So we have the Wing Sun 3008, and this is a fine nib. This is a Rhodia paper here. Uh, this is from the Heritage line. It's 80 gram grid, five millimeter grid paper. And uh, as I said here, oh, it's definitely a steel nib. Uh, and the ink here is Birmingham Pen Company, 
G C Murphy Tarnished Nickel. Now you can already see probably that this is writing super wet. Um, let's do the quick sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over. That'll be enough. Uh, it writes smooth, um, particularly for a fine nib and, and, and a Chinese fine nib. It definitely writes wet. Uh, I'd be surprised, you know, like if there are many fine nibs from China that write wetter uh, than this particular one. Um, if quick, quick writing, do a quick sample of that. Oh, that says literally nothing towards the end there. Uh, there's a slight little skip just there, hard start. Um, you know, but not enough to sort of say it's an issue. Um, the pen does after sort of this sort of quick, fast writing in these sort of uh, multi-directional lines, it does sort of tend to dry out a little bit occasionally. Um, but it's smooth and it does a really lovely job. Reverse writing. It's very fine and scratchy, but possible flex. I wouldn't want to push this nib too hard. You can get probably a little bit of line variation out of it, but I think you're more likely to spring uh, the nib than anything. They're quite soft, um, and not soft in the flexy way, soft in the I will break kind of way. Um, but that was the Wingsung 3008. Uh, I think it's a really interesting pen. I think they write really well. If you are a pen user who uh, can't justify buying a Twisby 580 or 580 ALR, but you want to see if it's the sort of pen you would enjoy, try one of these. You're not going to break your budget. Uh, is it a knockoff? Is it a homage? Is it what? That's totally up to you. It's not a clone. It's not exactly. It's not like some of those Lamy Safari uh, versions that you find from uh, China. This is a pen in its own right, just very clearly inspired and modelled off uh, another brand of pen. So yeah, you can't really complain when you're spending that little money on a pen that does everything that this pen does. It's a comfortable, good everyday writer. It's not a pen I would trust to throw around in my bag or anything like that, but it certainly uh, is good enough to sit on your desk or in a decent sort of pen case and uh, be used um, quite comfortably. Hope you found this video interesting. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. And uh, yeah, please get in touch on Instagram, Twitter, all those sort of places. I'm at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, if you've got any questions, products you think I should be looking at, get in touch. Or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, drop me a message and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.